Well, the American Automobile Association predicts another down year for summer travel, even though discounts, deals, and lower gas prices make vacations more affordable. Here with the summer travel outlook is AAA's Robert Sinclair. Robert, good to have you back with us. Good, good afternoon. To be here. Good afternoon. So the summer, you and I have talked before. You know, I think yeah. we talked about a month or so ago around mm -hmm. Memorial Day. What's changed, if anything? Probably not much. Uh, gasoline prices are continuing to go up. Uh, we're seeing that rental car rates are up slightly, but what continues to be low are hotel rates, um, rental, I'm sorry, um, certain rates for airlines across the country and one of the major routes are down, so there are some bargains to be had. Right. And while gasoline prices have gone up, in fact, probably about 60% since New Year's, right. they are about $1.30 cheaper than they were last year. So anybody with memories of what was going on last year and the retrenchment right. are probably rebounding as a result. Provided you have a job. Pro Provided you have a job. Yeah, we're pretty close to 10% unemployment, right. and that does make a big difference. Well, remind me about the summer season, the summer mm -hmm. travel season. How bad is it going to be? Well, you know, it, it really depends. Um, you know, international air is up significantly while domestic air is down, and we're seeing that their uh, employment in the airline industry is down. But there are these deals to be had. But International it, air is up. So people coming from up. the U.S. going overseas. Yeah, going overseas. But, um, you know, there are deals to be had, but it has to come with the caveat that they're sort of like hit and miss. Um, you know, AAA is the nation's largest leisure uh, travel agency in the interest of full disclosure, and we think that business model is best to deal with the situation that we're facing currently because sometimes the deals to be had are instantaneous right. and if you're on the uh, if you're on the phone with a travel agent they have access to all the airlines all the hotels and rental cars and what have you they can grab deals right then but you have to be ready to book immediately right. and you have to be flexible about the time frame that you want to travel you can't have an exact date Maybe you've had a range of two weeks or so, it would be better for you. But again, you have to strike when the iron is hot. But that's often true. I mean, you've got to, mm -hmm. you know, there's some deals out there, and if you don't, if you don't buy it, you kind of miss them. Is that, but is, is it kind of... It's a lot more true it, now. Okay. Yeah. And uh, really, the big bargain to be had these days is in cruising. A lot of the uh, cruise ship lines have repositioned ships from Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, the Mediterranean runs to the East Coast, which just about every major city on the East Coast. You can take a cruise out of, along with Gulf Coast, Gulf Coast and West Coast locations. And there are bargains to be had. And a lot of people, because of the hassle with airline security, you know, there's no baggage restrictions. Right. You get on the ship, you ascend the gangplank, somebody sticks a drink in your hand, the party starts immediately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sounds kind of good. Mm -hmm. Hey, so uh, I'm curious how aggressive the pricing is, though, among folks, be it hotels, uh, oh, airlines. A lot, of, a lot of hotels now are offering uh, sort of coupon deals. They're offering to pay for your gasoline. They're offering uh, somewhere from 10 to 30 percent discounts in some cases. Mm -hmm. uh, the two and three diamond hotels are probably even more significant. Uh, the more expensive hotels, they're pretty much staying where they've been. There's still but, demand there. Yeah, yeah. Well, there, it seems that people who are wealthy always have money, yeah. so the five diamond hotels are, are doing pretty well. But there are bargains to be had in the lower diamond rated hotels. How much bargaining can a traveler do in this environment to actually call up a hotel and say, I'd love to come visit you, but your prices are too high? How much, how much it, power it, do they it, have there? It might be something worth trying. I mean, we can do that through our travel agents and see what sort of deals we can get. Uh, people who are traveling in groups might be able to get a better deal, but, you know, in this economy, any kind of hassling or haggling and negotiating that you could do could be a possibility to get a bargain. It doesn't sound so dismal from what you're, sell you're telling me. Well, you know, a lot of people are faint out of fear about the future. They might have their jobs right. and be pretty much secure in them, but they're kind of playing their cl cards close to the vest and not making any plans right. as a result of, of fearing something that might happen in the future. And we're telling people that if you really plan, if you budget seriously and look at exactly what you want to do, that you can go out there and find some deals. Safe to say that people looking at this environment, maybe they have a job, but they're mm -hmm. saying, you know what, I'm going to be careful. We know consumers are saving more money than they have in the past. Right. But they might say, well, maybe I'll take a shorter trip or maybe not drive so far. We've seen that as a concession in the past, that perhaps when the economy is bad, that people would still make a trip, but they might shorten the distance of it. Uh, over the Memorial Day weekend, the average trip was about 605 miles. Right. Uh, with some trips, maybe about 30% of people traveling more than 1,000 miles. Mm -hmm. So there are definitely ways of dealing with this. Uh, economy and people are exercising it and you know we think if uh, if you need to rental car for example, if you've got a gas guzzling SUV, it might be cheaper for you to go out and, and rent a small, right. more fuel, um, fuel economical car. Yeah. Got it. All right, going to yeah. leave it there, Robert. All thank right. you. Thank Robert you. Robert Sinclair of AAA.